Good morning, Ephrata. My name is Milena. And I'm too tired for this. He was Miss Green. Uh, today is Monday, November 19th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Today, a representative from AFS and the Speedwell Foundation will be in school periods 5, 6, and 7 to meet with students interested in study abroad. AFS supports students who want to spend a year abroad, either during high school or post-high school as a gap year. There are scholarships av available. This is an, an amazing opportunity to spend time in the country of your choosing. These are not just travel abroad experiences to Germany or Spain, but there are many other choices of countries to choose from. There will, be an, there will also be an effort of the student there. Destiny Stoffer Ovenson to share her experience in Germany last year. If you are interested and would like to sign up, please see a language teacher in the building before Friday to get your name on the list. Language teacher rooms are located between rooms 128 and 138 on the first floor. The school counseling office is holding a contest to look for artwork to feature on the cover of the 2019 to 2020 course selection guidebook. If you are interested, please download a copy of the information sheet that has been posted to your Schoology news feed. The submission deadline is tomorrow, tomorrow, November 20th, so don't delay, even though if you do now, it's still very rushed, but you can get it done. Now we're to Sierra with the news. Hello, and welcome to The Political Truth, where we separate facts from fiction in American politics. Japanese car giant Nissan has proposed removing Chairman Carlos Ghosn from his post over financial misconduct claims. The firm said it had been conducting an internal investigation for several months which showed Mr. Ghosn had been underreporting his pay. Numerous other significant acts of misconduct, including personal use of com company assets, were also found. Nissan deeply apologizes for causing great concern to our shareholders and stakeholders, the company added. The firm said it had been providing information to the Japanese Public Prosecutor's Office and would continue to do so. Nissan said it had also planned to oust Representative Director Greg Kelly, who had been deeply involved in the misconduct. Scientists have changed the way the kilogram is defined. Thank you to Mrs. Hooper for sending us a Schoology message about it on Friday. But it's currently defined by the weight of a platinum-based ingot called Le Grand K, which is locked away in a safe in Paris. On Friday, researchers meeting in Versailles voted to get rid of it in favor of defining a kilogram in terms of an electric current. The decision was made at the General Conference on Weights and Measures, but some scientists, such as Purdy Williams at the National Physical Laboratory in the UK, have expressed mixed feelings about the change. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> nice pun! Uh. <laughs> on this day in history, in 1863, at the dedication of a military cemetery at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania during the American Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln delivered one of the most memorable speeches in American history. In just 272 words, Lincoln brilliantly and movingly reminded a war-weary republic why the Union had to fight and win the Civil War. Before we go to juniors with the lunch, if any of you guys have any awesome Christmas hats, make sure you give it to me. Okay, now for juniors with the lunch. Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Gwen here, obviously, as you can see by my name tag, and I'm in the irradiated town of Chernobyl, Ukraine, and we out here, uh, radiation ain't gonna stop us from doing lunch, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's some, uh, some weird stuff going on with this radiation out here in Chernobyl. Um, Bosco's stuffed pizza stick with meatballs and sauce. Boneless wings with whole grain roll and margarine. We got the fish and cheese. Whole grain roll. Josiah, look out for the pumpkin! Oh no! It's getting crazy over here in Chernobyl, man. There, there's windstorms, radiation everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's this is raining insane. Staples. It's raining staples. We got the Ham and Cheese Club with whole grain toast, chef salad, French fries, baked beans, fresh baby carrots, celery and dip, chilled peaches, fresh fruit, or that slushy baby. This is my friend from Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs>
great mistake. There will be an information meeting tomorrow, Tuesday, November 20th, in room 122 at 2.30 p.m. for anyone interested in playing football next fall. We will be going over our off-season program and discuss our team goals. Please make arra arrangements to attend. See Coach Miller if you are unable to attend. Come join the quest for sectional title. There will be an informational meeting again today at 2.45 p.m. in high school. <laughs> For all students who signed up or are interested in doing winter track, <laughs> if you have any questions, see Coach White in room 120 or Coach Del Piano in room 113. For the thought, and now for the thought of the day. Hi, I'm Noah Ringling. I'm here to share the thought of the day. Tempus edax rerum, a Latin phrase that roughly translates to "time devourer of all things." It was said by the Roman poet Ovid, and to me, it means that we have such a short lifespan. And with that time, we should use it before it's all gone and we don't have any time left to do it. Whoa! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> okay, there we go. Exploring military options. There is an event for you at Hempfield High School on December 6th from 6.30 to 8.30. This is a great opportunity to learn about military service, job training, and college funding. There will also be presenters who will provide information about the benefits of an ROTC scholarship, which includes full tuition, books, and a uh, stipend. I don't know what that is, but uh, please take advantage of this chance to see what our armed services have to provide for you. Yeah. Oh, no! What? <laughs>